Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. I have a lot to say. Hello guys, how are you? David DeFranco here from DavidDeFranco.com. That is always linked right below. Check it out. I appreciate it. Earlier today, about an hour ago, Nintendo finally unveiled details regarding the Nintendo NX. I quote details because we didn't really get that many details. No pricing, no specific release date, but we did get a three minute glimpse into what the NX is going to offer in terms of a gaming experience and a user experience. Now, first of all, let's start out with the name. Nintendo NX, that has been a code name for a while now, and honestly, I would have been fine with them calling it the NX. I've gotten so used to saying that. But as of today, the NX branding, that code name or whatever, is officially behind us. It is officially called the Nintendo Switch. I gotta say, I like it. I mean, the name makes sense. It's simple, you can't get tired of it, and it's easy to market. With a name like Switch, it's just a simple verb that just comes across easily. Because with the whole Wii U branding, a lot of people thought the Wii U was the Wii console, but with some add-ons. I don't know, because Nintendo, you did a horrible, horrible job at marketing the Wii U. Okay, so obviously gamers like you and myself knew exactly what the Wii U was, because we're gamers at heart. It's a just a big, big part of our lives. But still, I mean, like the Wii U, it just never took off. The concept was great but it just never took off in the long run. So anyway, as of today, the Wii brand, the Wii U brand, let's just put that behind us, it's dead. Come on, it's dead in terms of the future. So anyway, getting into the details, the reason why you're watching this video. Nintendo Switch, I gotta start by saying, it's a very interesting concept. It is, I mean, it's kind of what we expected if you've been paying attention to the Nintendo rumor mill. Um, it's like a console and portable hybrid, which I wasn't crazy about to begin with, to be perfectly honest with you, because I'm not a big portable gamer. I'd rather just sit on my couch, my nice TV, 5.1 surround sound, play games in full HD, 60 frames per second, 30 frames if I have to, not a big deal. But you get my point. I love sitting down in my living room and just enjoying gaming. Now and then, yeah, I'll pick up a portable console, but it's not that often. It's actually very rare for me. The Nintendo Switch takes what's best about the Wii U and the 3DS and they merge it into a single console. Now this is extremely different than anything what we've experienced. Picture a console plugged into your TV, you're playing Zelda, Mario, Skyrim, I'll talk about that more in a bit, but suddenly you want to take your game on the go. You gotta poop, you gotta go to dinner, you gotta go somewhere. You simply take the console out of the dock and you're on your way. It's a portable console. You don't need to be near another console to play games um, as you normally would. Because with the Wii U, yeah, you have the gamepad, but you have to be within a proximity of the Wii U console, which worked well if you wanted to play at home, but how often are you gonna do that on your couch when the TV's right in front of you? Probably not that often. I mean, I know I didn't. My Wii U hasn't been turned on in months. Nintendo, I love you, but the Wii U just, I don't know. I'm just not that interested in it nowadays. So anyway, with this new portable uh, console hybrid, you can pick it up and take it on the go as if it was like a 3DS or a PlayStation Vita. And I think that's a huge, huge deal. That's cool. It seems like a concept that just works. And if it does just work, Nintendo, you've got something big here. Run with it. But for me, the Nintendo Switch is primarily going to be a home console because like I said, I enjoy gaming at home. But for those moments where I wanna go over to a friend's house, I simply take it out of the dock and I'm on my way. So in theory, that could work out really well. All right, let's talk about design. I don't wanna make this video too long, but I'm sure it's gonna be a little long. In terms of design, design's very important to me. I like products that look nice. For instance, my iPad Pro, my iPhone, um, Success, I almost called it a 3GS, I have no idea why. I like good design. I don't think the Wii U was really ever ugly. The gamepad, sure it was bulky, but I thought it was well designed and the Wii U console looked nice as well. I have the black model and I think it looks great. But the Nintendo Switch, gotta be honest, I'm not really blown away by the design. Now, granted, this is not coming out for another, what, five months or so, it's coming out in March the design could change radically. What we saw in today's reveal trailer could be a very early concept. 
I somehow doubt that though because five months isn't really a long time in terms of video game development and hardware. But anyway, the design I don't think is terrible looking, but it's not exactly something I want to brag about saying, hey look, that thing is sexy as hell. No. But I will say this standard controller, I'm not sure how the controllers are going to work because it looks like just like the Wii and the Wii U, we're going to have a ton of controller options. I really hope it doesn't feel like a fragmented experience. But anyway, assuming everything just works as is and it's not too much of a crowded user experience in terms of controllers and choosing what's best for you, the standard controller, the one I'm showing on video right now, looks a lot like an Xbox controller. And that, my gamer friends, is a very good thing. I like the asymmetric design with the sticks. Um, the left stick is higher than the right stick. I've always loved that. It feels more comfortable in my opinion. So anyway, Nintendo put some heavy focus on the fact that you can take the controllers off the Switch and play them like this. So think like the Wii Nunchuck and the remotes in one hand each. And well, that's instantly what came to mind. Now, whether these controllers have gyroscopes or accelerometers in them, I'm not sure. I mean, in theory, that could be pretty cool for some like, I don't know, flying game or boxing game or even golf or something going back to the days of the Wii. But I don't think they're gonna have that either way. They did put a heavy focus on multiplayer. Like, say I'm playing my Nintendo Switch and I wanna go over to a friend's house, play with three friends or four friends or whatever. We can link up our Nintendo Switches wirelessly, which looks really cool in concept. Um, and we can take the controllers off the Switch itself. So I guess it would be like one tiny controller for each person. And I put heavy focus on the word tiny. It doesn't look that comfortable. However, Nintendo was also very careful to show the fact that you don't need to use the small controllers when using the um, Nintendo Switch as a portable console. I believe you can use a standard controller. I don't see why not. Oh, and also one more thing. The built-in kickstand actually looks pretty convenient. I mean, they showed somebody playing a game. Hunter, silence. Who the f I hate unknown numbers, stop calling me. Anyway, they showed some guy on the plane in the um, Switch reveal. I keep wanting to call it Nintendo Concept. I have no idea why. Um, they showed him take out the kickstand, put it on a little tray on the plane, and play his game, which I thought was really cool. Okay, so let's get to the games. And guys, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect I'd talk this much. I just love gaming, and this is a huge, huge deal. So if you made it this far, well done. Seriously, congrats. All right, so let's talk about the games, because without good games, you've got nothing, and this is especially important to Nintendo. I'm a long time Nintendo fan, I have faith in them. My expectations are low from them nowadays, but I still have faith in them. I'm a loyal Nintendo gamer. Hence the sure. But I'm not afraid to admit this. Nintendo has always suffered when it comes to third party support. Even going back to the days of Nintendo 64, the GameCube and the Wii, even nowadays, third party support for Nintendo consoles is not that great. I think it got a little better with the Wii U with games like Call of Duty, and yes, that might be casual in some people's eyes, but Call of Duty is a system seller. So, one of the games that was shown in the Nintendo Switch reveal trailer is Skyrim. If we actually get a full-blown playable Skyrim on a Nintendo console, that's a huge deal. Not only does that give gamers like me confidence in third-party supports, on this Switch, but it also gives gamers more choices. Because as of today, I always prefer the Xbox One and PS4 if I buy a game that's multi-platform. The only way I buy a game on the Wii U is if it's made by Nintendo themselves. Now that says a lot, Nintendo makes good games, but speaking in terms of third-party support, like I said, it's always been pretty weak, but if Skyrim is any indication of third-party support, for the Nintendo Switch, then, well, things are looking good. But besides that, we did get some very quick glimpses at first party titles, including Zelda, a new Mario game, which I've never seen before. It looked like Super Mario 64 too, like a sequel to that. I'm not sure, but I will say this. The game looked downright beautiful from like all the three seconds of footage that we saw. We have Mario Kart, which looks like the Mario Kart we already have played, but that's okay. Splatoon, a new Splatoon people are saying. I still have not gotten into Splatoon, but maybe I'll get into it someday. Um, and finally Skyrim, as I already mentioned. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, next topic, and then I'm almost done, I promise. Cartridges. Yep, they're not going anywhere. Nintendo loves their cartridges. Gotta be honest, at first when I read rumors about the uh, Nintendo NX using cartridges, I'm like, 
Nintendo, stop. People want discs. People want Blu-ray discs. People want mass storage on a single disc. But then the Nintendo Switch was unveiled. And I gotta say, cartridges in this sense make perfect sense. Uh, because for a portable console hybrid, you need something that's not gonna be consuming a lot of energy and it needs to be quiet and it needs to be ideal for decent battery life. If you have a portable console with a disc constantly spinning, constantly reading data, your battery life's gonna be terrible. Trust me, it, 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 would, it would just be bad. So I guess it's pretty safe to say that Nintendo made a smart decision in going the roots of cartridges. Yes, it may be old technology, but for a concept like this, the Nintendo Switch, it works. It just works. And um, honestly, Nintendo's always been great at mobile. They have been excellent at mobile. They continue to dominate portable gaming sales outside of smartphones, of course. I apologize for all the noise. I can't wait to be home. So yeah, cartridges, cool. I'm on board. So finally wrapping up this video, the Nintendo Switch will be releasing in March, 2017. Just like what, five months from now? Not even? And I gotta say, I'm actually shocked. I'm extremely impressed. I mean, I honestly thought the Nintendo Switch, I almost said Wii U. I honestly thought the Switch wasn't gonna come out till maybe June at the earliest because we went months. We even went through E3 with zero details on this new console. So I just thought deep down, I'm like, yeah, this thing's not gonna make it out by March, but hey, they said March 2017 today, so cool, awesome. Of course, we don't have pricing details yet, but if you want my prediction, I say it's gonna be 349. And if they really want this to be a system seller, Nintendo would be smart in bundling the new Zelda game. I don't see that happening, but if they do bundle the new Zelda game, even like at a $20 discount, I don't know, that could sell a lot of consoles. So there you go, those are my thoughts on the Nintendo Switch. Please keep in mind, this is an extremely early video, hence why my thoughts are all over the place, like over there, over there, over there. I just have a lot to say, um, but obviously we still have a lot more to learn. So what do you think about the Nintendo Switch? Is it something you're interested in? I mean, I'm definitely interested. I'll be buying it on day one no matter the price. I don't care if it's $500, I'll be there because I have faith in Nintendo. Like I said, my expectations are low with them nowadays because they've been somewhat of a disappointment in recent years, but I am very excited to buy the Switch. It should be a pretty cool concept. I just hope it sells. I don't know if it's gonna sell when compared to something like the Xbox One and PS4. Sometimes people just prefer a simple gaming experience. And while the Nintendo Switch isn't exactly simple, it does seem to make more sense than the Wii U did. And it does a lot more than the Wii U. Oh, and by the way, we didn't even talk about online play. Um, that's kind of like a deal breaker for some people. If it doesn't have good, sustainable online play like the Xbox One and PS4 do, then a lot of people will not jump on board. But let's just hope Nintendo has learned their lesson in ignoring online. Okay, maybe not straight up ignoring, they've gotten better in recent years, but they're not even close to what the PS4 and Xbox One both offer. So Nintendo, please make online a priority. This is your last chance at making an actual console that people want. The Wii U, it simply disappointed a lot of people and I don't blame them. I don't, I don't blame them one bit. So you need to make this right, but either way, I'm gonna be there. You know that. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I apologize for the extremely long video, but I love gaming and I always have a lot to say. Sorry about the camera shake. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.